What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be reacting to Roblox Tower Defense X in a nutshell by Tankfish. Thank you for reminding me to react to this. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, did you have captions? No, they do not. So we're just going to have to uh, wing this. And actually, I'm going to be honest with you. This is my second time watching this. However, I completely forgot how it went. So uh, just take that with a grain of salt. Anyways, let's do this. Hi, I'm Tankfish, and I'm being forced at gunpoint to play this game. Oh, Welcome it's John Roblox. TDX, not to be confused with the government oh, it's Pam service from the office. that transports missiles with pickup okay. trucks. Silly mistake, I know. That's a lot it's of editing already. It's basically a tower defense simulator, but according to John... Okay, freaking, I'm putting captions, because why not? Oh, wow, Homelander. That's a great image to pause on. It's better. Yeah. I guess. I mean, That's except for the part with the tower lore, thigh. Nobody knows, but I have a theory. Tower Defense X theory. is actually wow. the sequel of Balloon Tower Defense. The wow. year is 2025. The brother Next year? Man, what the heck? Group, nuked South America and eliminated all supplies. Dude, how am I supposed man? to react to this? There's so much going on. The monkeys to death, and now to avenge the monkeys. Okay. Oh, the game, whoa. Hey, yo. Death, and now to avenge <laughs> the monkeys. <laughs> Yeah, funny enough, I did actually see this one time. Freaking hilarious picture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, we're the gonna move GDA, on. Led by Roblox John and Roadblock. Jordan Peterson nice. is fighting against zombies made by the Brotherhood. But hey, nice. that's just a theory. I don't like your horns, by the way, but theory. whatever. Gameplay. Okay. Just like any tower defense game, he just the like me for it. consists of placing down defenses, enemies right. spawning, watching mm -hmm. defenses kill enemies. Yes, that's how tower defense works. Released. Correct. Your goal is <laughs> not like that though. The others out of wherever Whoa. they're trying to reach. It could be a top was throwing secret it back. facility or an ice cream truck for all I could care, but it doesn't matter because once it does, they though. reach it, something bad happens. As the okay. game progresses and you oh, get into not. later nice. waves, the enemies will become stronger, faster, and Oh, annoying. nice. To counter that, you can divert all the tax money into military spending instead of true the defense budget. You upgrade heck? your defenses. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. The last few waves, it goes from zero to a hundred real quick. It Just like this video, honestly. Two. I freaking knew it. I told you that perfect analogy, dude. Oh, why is he playing on cryo blasters? What? Hitting harder than my dad's belt, so you actually need some good strats in order to win. If you wait, 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 we're going back right freaking now. There are freaking Google Doc strats for this for TDX. How did I not know about this? I can actually figure this out and use it to my advantage because I'm currently just grinding using the deserted island easy mode grind thing. Uh, I made that strategy myself no document or anything and i get like 290 every six minutes or so with the speed boost on this seems pretty cool though if i can like if if i could find a strategy where it's just that same sort of map with similar towers i could probably get more gold and i want to do it in like intermediate probably to get more gold and it's just profits you know if you guys uh find one or if i happen to find one um that'd be great anyways we're gonna continue sorry about that Strats in order to win. If you lack brain cells, follow some tutorials like what I do with Arknight. Thank you. I actually GFMB. just for what the fudge, bro, Yuri. In every game, you can bring with you six um, towers. You can bring more. You forgot you how to count, bro. You're poor, so choose wisely. Well, I mean, with you range, you could be easy mode, so it's not too bad. By getting government subsidies and okay. hurting people. If you have teammates, uh, the money will be trash cans, and you will get a first-hand <laughs> experience of living in China under Mao, not being able okay. to afford jack sh But unlike communist China, your farms want to get confiscated. I don't so actually hold up. I don't actually use farms, believe it or not. I find farms to be a sort of liability when it comes to placing down and upgrading towers. I don't know, it just it's just not for me. I understand the incentive, 
Push is not for me. I'm not Eugene Krabs over here, okay? That way, when the enemies reach the end, you lose HP based huh. on the amount of HP <laughs> oh, they have. Oh, you did so ran over the van like or something. Car crash you could have prevented. Dang, there's so many automobiles. Car with more HP wins. I didn't think I need oh, to Oh, nice. This, that dude is freaky. Some kid to bring in a Hex, no, don't let me see that VTuber again. I realized that I might have to explain this. It's a boat. It goes in water. If there's right. no water, there's no yeah. boat. Your ass is not in Vinland Saga. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot Dude, that's what a boat is. Do you think I'm an idiot? Absolutely, I am. Line of sight system where obstacles can cock block your towers because <laughs> after all, <laughs> nice. you cannot hit. That sounds actually dark. See. Try punching someone with your eyes closed. Trust me. You is that a new tower it. right there? Different maps have different difficulties depending on their terrain. And if you're high on adrenaline, right. you can pick a more challenging mode. Don't ever pick expert. Damage. Oh my gosh. Worst mistake of my life. Coming. You get advertisement. I get money hey kids do you like funny track oh fudge off mate i'm skipping your freaking sponsor Hex, no nah, dude all right i think right here wow i actually nailed it there Holy is crap. a vast variety of enemies in this game to hit the diversity quota you got zombies oh they're cool zombies zombies with armors, <laughs> zombies who think they're john cena zombies with right. common sense who realize that yes they should probably run okay zombies who play league of legend zombies Cancer. that spawn more zombies those zombies are annoying that give your towers concussion and much <laughs> more because i'm got tired em. of saying the word zombie the devs eventually ran out of brain cells it's john Oh Mind my gosh. Traits and abilities. He's a guy. Why be special when you can be double special? Trust me. Noted. Eventually, Duly there's noted. gonna be a fat ass zombie who's also gonna have armor, but is somehow fast as f. Make him invisible. And stealth. Too. You know what? Mm -hmm. Give him a taser gun while you're at Basically, it. just guys everything. On the whole spectrum. Apart from the regular drugs, there's also. <clears throat> Oh yeah, bosses. Unlike regular enemies who act like punching bags, bosses act like Arcanite enemies. They f***ing fight back. Well, they will hit the towers. Well, hold up. Easy mode, it just, uh, the plague doctor just debuffs everything, but intermediate and, er and above, um, yeah, they do do damage. Uh, plague doctor on, plague doctor 2, I think it's called, on elite mode, it's pretty dangerous. Although I'm pretty sure eradicator mark 2 is even worse. I haven't even gone there yet. I haven't even gone to expert mode yet um it's hard i need someone to play with to beat that i've even been to once but i would really love to it's the roblox predator he's gonna hey yo he's whoa gonna and he has a single ability wow so, that's it I thought Groomer said something else. SCP-049 looking ass. The war criminal. Convicted in both lips. Alright, you know what? Let's do some research, shall we? Plague doctors are often depicted in an iconic costume as seen as a symbol of death and disease. However, they were misunderstood. They were harbingers of new beginnings as they were the first line of defense against an unknown enemy. Disease, bacteria, viruses. They were fearless. So is the Plague Doctor a hero or not? The Plague Doctor is a hero in Darkest Dungeon 2. What the freak, dude? This doesn't answer my freaking question. Are they good or are they chaotic neutral? Like, I don't freaking get this, dude. Like, look, if I go to images, it's like, like, who is this dude? Like, this dude freaking wearing like a, a beak? Like, what? Bro, this dude looks freaking weird. Now we're going back to the video. Screw that. And Nuremberg for the extended usage of gas. Oh, funny dance. Gas have different effects Mustard on gas. Powers. Red lowers damage. Green and black lower fire rates. And blue reduces range. He's probably That's actually really good to know. Thank you for pointing that out. I did actually know what they do. Probably the kind of guy who makes a lot of homophobic jokes. But Wait, Ben Shapiro, really? Man ass because for someone dressed in all black, his abilities are sure pretty colorful. He can also wow. heal by doing a gamer raid Very and murders <laughs> to stun your towers. Those were crows? I thought there was something is else. definitely trying to compensate for something. For abilities, he's got a sword slam. It kills people. Rocket I hate that burst. Dude. It kills kill. people. And flamethrower. It kills people. So it all that kills people. Medium rare. He's honestly just a a big stat stick unga bunga until the ops are bunga gonga simple okay. yet effective oh yeah this dude right here this dude's actually the plague doctor but on steroids some of his attacks now deal damage to your towers because they say i thought they all did no more this dude is scary oh, yeah. he's, he's compensating for something for sure poor really freaking went. mini guns like what the fudge overkill much
baby. If he was a stat stick, he is now a bigger stat stick made out of guns. And Bro, that's some hold on, hold on, hold on. stat stick. He is Let me now just... a bigger. This is some Tom and Jerry type crap. This is the freaking bulldog. That's Tom and that's Jerry. Bro, what? Stat stick made out of guns, and he's gonna break your jugular. Wow, well, imagine being made out of guns. As for which tower Sad life. the bosses prioritize to unalive the north. Some abilities target Wait, the what? Whoa! Some target the area with the most Not reference. Some are RNGs, and I'm too lazy to find out which does what. Oh no, hoverboards? Those killers. are dangerous. Thank you for your contribution. That means, sadly, no. You can't bait every attack from the boss with cheap towers, like what you okay. do with Gravel from Arknight. However, you can't spam no them that game around is. to lessen the chance for your more valuable towers to get hit. So, perhaps you're safe, John. Perhaps you're not. Who knows? Hmm. <laughs> It would be funny if John nerfed this himself. This game currently has 15 towers, and each of them has two upgrade paths. Once yeah. you get three upgrade in one path, further upgrade for the other path will be locked. Instead That's of simply true. telling like you BTV what they five. do, I'm gonna make a tier list so all my fellow meta slaves can live happily ever after. Ranger. Okay. Basic unit for early game that goes pew pew. Top path gives him stealth detection, while bottom path allows him to yeet grenades. At least he could be easy, but with that, better than nothing. Operator is honestly just. <laughs> I thought he was doing here. something else. Operator, solid early game unit if you don't have laser and laser gunners in a lot. Bro, that you can handle pretty much everything early waves can throw. That's a significantly better ranger or something, in my opinion. First stealth wave. I'm legally blind. Bottom path allows him to call in a 1995 Toyota Hilux with heavy machine okay. gun mounted. Okay. Thanks for the self promotion very again. With your inner Taliban, you can spam the shit out of it for some happy car accident and. <laughs> I love that video. Hey! Dog sh range mid damage D tier. Yeah, David I agree. Bazooka. It has great damage. Oh, missile trooper? AOE, yeah, that dude is actually good. And stealth detection on both My favorite path is the top one. Top path gives it giga range and a very high damage on primary target, while bottom yep. path sacrifices range and your wallet for DPS. Personally, it's I'm a top good. path enjoyer. I like yeah, to top path. Four, two I hope it doesn't get nerfed though. Enjoy the Although I feel like John would do that. It's Zelensky. What? Where's this coming from, dude? Oh! <laughs> That's a lot of freaking Perhaps missile Ukraine troopers. Did have the perfect tower defense strat against Russia with other <laughs> What the heck? Here. Mine layer. Setting traps in the hey, back line to prevent leaks. Honestly, why don't you just get good and don't leak? D tier sniper. I mean, good early game yeah, unit that can still be useful in mid and end game. For example, oh, actually, if you didn't know about this, guys, uh, they actually, uh, pretty sure John or whoever balances the towers actually nerfed sniper a while ago at this point. Now it was like a shadow balance change or something, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it got nerfed. If you don't believe me, just look it up on YouTube. I don't know, I, I just believed it on the internet. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, um, not like it matters for me now. I don't use sniper anymore, but. That sucks, dude, man. People who balance towers like that in tower defense games are just complete idiots sometimes. Against these two goobers. Oh, no. I didn't even I read that. Hold up. <laughs> Give me one example. second. All right. Stealth, armored, runner, invisible, explosion, re resistant, bulletproof. So are they just immune to everything? What the freak? Against these two goobers. Oh, no. I can't see. I need AP. Explosion don't work. <laughs> Snipers and laser guns are the only counters. Wow. Crack. They get AP bullets and can do Phantom Forces collat. Here we have a I don't play Phantom Forces. Player. He doesn't shower. As for bottom path, it gives him wow. artillery range. Overall solid <laughs> unit. God. Cryo blaster. Freezes Ooh, enemies. This is a good tower, actually. Between AOE, being chilling, or fast single target, Mr. Freeze. C tier. Because nice. Because he doesn't have detection and the freeze is honestly kind of mid. However, if you're feeling Canadian, you can cheese bosses with it. Because wow. if you somehow manage to freeze it, you win. There's nothing he can do. Still C tier, though, because you can also just kill it. Still EDK. C tier? It's a woman. But unlike most women, she women. makes your life easier. It's DJ has an extra E in it. Is that a me reference? Let me know. It's currently the most cost effective tower. If you don't have it, you I lose. couldn't even see that text. Hold on. What did I say? It's your life easier. It's currently the 36 towers times 40% damage buff plus 25% range. Yeah, it's cost support tower. The most cost effective tower. If you don't have it, you lose. I still her like top the horns. Path increases your tower's DPS and her bottom path makes them cheaper. It's like mm -hmm. blasting funk music on a I never used the bottom Why path. Why hasn't anyone tried that yet? 
S tier. John. Yeah. The main character. The monkey himself. Out of his whole arsenal, decides to bring this. Oh. Bottom path is That's kinda true. ass. Top path is overpriced. Like your zero That's two figure true. eight. His monkey bro. That's facts though. I actually don't like using the John Tower in reality. I under I understand that the, the damage buff it gives can be pretty good. But it's just so expensive and your point about being being the overpriced path is ridiculous. I don't actually like using John Tower. Brain doesn't allow him to detect stealth enemies, but despite all that, wow. in higher difficulty modes, you're probably gonna Bro, that makes no sense though. You would think that John, the freaking guy who made the game, would make John the tower actually good. Where's the logic there? It's not opposite day, bro. It's only opposite day for me, not for you. All right? Don't get it to me, but not for you. All right? It's a me and you, but not you and me. You get it? Cool. Buff the freaking tower, John. I need the monkey rage ability that increases the damage of all nearby towers by 50%. Yay. Yeah, that's too good. Oh, -tier. no, that was the other one. Juggernaut. He's a simple man. He has big gun. S tier. Artillery. Give okay. the zombies Bro, at least explain more. PTSD. Top path is... I'm okay. actually grinding for Bottom artillery. Path, however, I don't know if it's good or not. Where do I begin? Range? Yes. Damage? Yes. Blast radius? Yes. Cost? Too much. I would have... <laughs> yeah, too much. Holy crap. A lazy piece of shit. Since you need to manually choose where it targets. B tier. Laser oh, actually. Um, I think I remember this, but... Uh, hold on. Laser. Frick. Let me get a good freaking. Yes. Bro, Cost let me see the freaking much. damage again. I would have given it an eight. Right, come on, come on, come on. Piece of since you need to. Man okay, I don't know, but they actually nerfed the damage from the bottom path from 275 to a thousand. I think I do remember that. Annually choose where it targets. You keep tier. nerfing Laser towers, gunner. dude. Top path is basically the sniper Ooh. top path, but Laser instead gunner is actually pretty rifle, good. You get a laser mini gun. In terms I of guess. cost effectiveness, true. sniper is slightly better. But since laser gunners have so much more drip, I gotta give him the dub. Bottom path okay. is just meta. It's a stat stick. Very high DPS with armor pierce and detection. Also has a pretty farm. good ability, honestly. There are two types of farm users. There's the one who ends up making fat profits and carrying the team by simply having more sh**. Behold. My stuff. They have a Got master it. degree in microeconomy and knows how to balance what the fudge? farming and military. And there's the one who spent all their money on farms early on, then complains about the game being too hard and their teammates too useless because they don't have any towers to defend way f***ing 10 S tier. Wow. Patrol boat. For a boat whose job is to patrol, it doesn't detect stealth. You had one f***ing That's true job though. Goddammit. Although, the top however, you get somewhat intervened by either paths. So with a top path, if you didn't know, uh, once you get to like the third upgrade for the top path, um, each attack does explosive damage basically. So every attack can affect uh, a plethora of zombies at one point, and it could just keeps you could just keep racking up damage really quickly, which can also hit stealth, which is pretty freaking good. And I use that to my advantage in Deserted Island. For the bottom path, that's the flamethrower. It can also hit stealth. It has to have other enemies as well. Same for the top path, but it's a little different each scenario. Top path gives you missiles, and the bottom path gives you a flamethrower. Both flame are decent, really good. but since you can only place it on water and it can detect stealth, B tier. It spawns units instead of playing. Oh, bears are defense, pretty good. You'll be I just don't use it though. Offense. Go to them. Eleven they nine with you. three. Top path gives you scouts and rail gunners. Both have detection, and rail gunners have AP. Bottom path is uh, okay. Random bullshits go brain dead as nice, team, especially on certain maps where they can blob up. War. This is we're barrage. Wow. The worship is even unlocked. The X tier, though. and that's it. <laughs> Wait, what the heck is E? List? Hold on, what? E X tier. What the frick is E X tier, bro? What kind of tier list is this? Oh my gosh. Here. Let's keep going. And that's it. If you disagree with this list, feel free to comment. I, I won't, won't look at them, but it's really good for the algorithm. I still hate your horns. I'm oh, sorry, grind. but yeah. this time, I cannot relate to the grind. I have friends in high places. I simply asked nicely, and they just provided me with everything. Imagine grinding. Wow. Couldn't be me. But I think I can picture what you peasants went through. Farming the same map over and over again with the highest difficulty that you can... Well, I guess that's true. Um, 
I did get both game passes though. One of them, the VIP, the VIP one helped with leveling up faster, but I don't care about XP now. I just need more gold, but eventually gold's gonna become useless to me, so. I don't know. Can handle. Perhaps you work and I had the speed boost the for solo. I know how to easy clear an elite map with low tier towers. Perhaps you have someone who can boost you, but you still can't escape the fate of grinding the same f***ing map with the same f***ing strat a quadrillion times. Have fun. I know I did, cause I right. did it. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's a tower defense game. Worst case scenario, if you really lack the brain cells, you can just go watch some guides and follow the steps for easy clear. Sadly, if you have I don't think as well, Justin but V makes hard. contents on TDX, so you're gonna have to find someone else. Remember, the only thing <laughs> Wait, that can what? truly Hold on, what? TDX, so you're gonna have to find some Wait, huh? someone else. Nerfing is too. Be right back. Damn it, John! No! Stop nerfing crap! Remember, the only thing that can truly challenge you is yourself. Be the Mazda you Sun always Tzu. wanted to be. Play with only Rangers, and I assure you, this game is gonna be hard. I guess you can flex on yeah. noobs with your big juicy towers in public law, uh, but Bo. the noobs are gonna suck ass and you're gonna lose at wave 15. Then you're gonna look like an idiot because you thought you're you gonna lose on wave them, one, bro. You couldn't because you overestimated your ability based on a true story. The game just came out and a lot more content uh, will be added in the future. I know for sure I there's hope gonna so. be an endless mode where you can get a first-hand experience of what it feels to be a german commander in 1944 on the eastern front and that's where it is this coming video. from subscribe like and comment e, or I oh my gosh a spade. oh that was it okay he's opening skin crates bro are you serious bruh bruh okay well um so that was the video um what the freak is a pyrophobia the phobia of infinity or eternity causing discomfort and sometimes panic attacks. Well then. So yeah, that was my reaction to this video. Um, you're welcome. Sorry if I wasn't over the top as some other YouTubers are. I was just being honest, really. I was mainly just talking. That's kind of it. Um, but hey, at least I'm not SS Sniper, am I right? Yeah, woo! Better than freaking her. I actually have, I haven't watched her at all. Like at all, like at any point in my life, I have not watched SS Sniper or Pokimane or VTubers or anything really like that. I don't know. I just like to stay away from that sort of thing. But yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you dislike this video. Okay. Bye, guys.